I was spearfishing with my son Axe the other day when I stuck a super yummy goatfish, only to have it immediately stolen right off my spear by one of these guys. A massive moray eel. But don't worry, I'm about to tell you the story of how I forced the thief to give my fish back, after having it fully scale the fish for me with its creepy second mouth, of course, and use the recovered fish head as bait to catch an even bigger monster eel, and after stabbing the beast in the brain with my very sharp knife, like some sort of zombie out of a horror film, it just would not die. Oh my! How is it not dead? My knife is literally in its brain. How do you kill these things? Look at that! No fish? No switch! So our story begins on a beautiful ocean day when my son Axe and I decide to turn spearfishing for dinner into a fun challenge. The rules are simple. You don't spear fish, you don't get to play any switch. Also, you starve. Boom! There goes Axe sticking his first fish of the day, a delicious trigger fish. Good work, Axe. Now the wildest part of this adventure actually begins underneath this giant rock. Now some of you may remember me trying to spear a large goatfish under this rock in a previous episode. I dove down under that same rock today to see what I could snag with my three prong when I saw the unmistakable silhouette of a really big moray eel at the back of the rock. Unfortunately, my camera didn't capture the eel here, but I immediately swim around the other side of the rock to see if I can get a good shot at it. We recently speared an Aiden eel from a tide pool for the first time, and it was delicious. Ever since then, I've been craving fried eel, and this felt like it was my big opportunity to get another one. You can see here, I'm a bit jumpy, and for good reason. Moray eels are very aggressive, and picking a fight with one underwater is both dangerous and extremely stupid. Which of course makes me a very brave man. After searching for some time and finding no sign of the mystery eel, I decided to go look for some less dangerous fish to spear. And there's Axe, spearing a second yummy trigger fish. Now, here's where things start to get a little weird. I was looking in some coral for hidden fish when this guy shows up. Enter the Hinalea La Wheelie. I just call him Wheelie for short. Now you probably aren't going to believe this, but on my honor as a fisherman, Wheelie started talking to me. Of course, I'm quite used to fish talking to me while I'm out hunting on the reef, but this time it was different. Wheelie started telling me in a very fishy voice, Seek the prophecy of the ancient Ula. It is your destiny. Now, of course, an Ula is a Hawaiian spiny lobster, but what did a Hawaiian spiny lobster have to do with my destiny? I tried following Wheelie to see if I could get some answers, then got distracted by these delicious looking triggerfish. I tracked one of them down, but just as I was about to spear it, it darted into a coral cave. Lucky for us, Axe tracked another one into a different cave and quickly speared it. It was a fighter and almost got away, but he grabbed it and secured it just in time. And here goes Axe, snatching up another one. Ah, oh, that was so perfect! At this point, I hadn't speared anything yet. I really wanted to play Breath of the Wild, so I put on my big boy flippers and stuck me a manini. After that, I felt pretty confident and uh, went on a bit of a manini rampage. I was about to stick my third one when out of the blue, Wheelie shows up again. Only this time, he's got his girlfriend Mealy with him. I was so focused on the manini that I barely noticed the two, but as they swam by, I heard them chanting, Seek the prophecy, destiny. I decided to ignore them. Who needs a silly prophecy from an old lobster anyways? Besides, I had bigger fish to fry. Literally, like this guy, an invasive blacktail snapper. They cause a lot of damage to the ecosystem here, and they are delicious. I swim over to the rockets hiding under, hoping to flush him out, when who should show up again but Wheelie. This time, he wouldn't leave me alone. He just kept coming back over and over again, saying, Prophecy, 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 seek the prophecy. And then, as quickly as he came, he just disappeared again. All right, little dude, you win. I'll have a look around for the old crustacean. And who knows, maybe he'll predict a lobster dinner in my future. I searched all over the reef, both high and low, and found exactly zero lobsters. I did, however, find this venomous sea urchin, but when I asked if it knew where the ancient Ula was, 
It said some very nasty things to me that I'm not going to repeat here in case any kids are listening. I was just beginning to head back to my buoy when I saw some whiskers poking out from under a boulder, and I thought to myself, now if that ain't a lobster, I ain't a Texan. And seeing as my middle name is Texas, there's a pretty good chance that what we're dealing with here is a lobster. So I dove down for a closer look. As I approached, however, it became obvious that something wasn't right about this lobster. I mean, it was ancient all right. So ancient, in fact, that when I picked it up, its butt fell off. Now, before we move on, I need to pause here for just a second and prepare you for what is about to happen next. Remember how things got weird earlier with our little fishy friend? Well, things are about to get a good deal more weird with Mr. So Ancient My Butt Just Fell Off Oola. I was in the middle of thinking how silly the idea of a lobster prophet was when everything started happening in slow motion. And then the prophet began to speak. Back to the great rock and solve ye this riddle. Dive not left or right, but straight for the middle. Beware ye the thief with very sharp teeth. Your loss shall be great, your gain even greater. One thief shall escape, yet two more shall come later. Alrighty then. That's the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here now. But, as I swam towards the shore, I couldn't help but think about the riddle. What could I gain by going back to the rock? And more importantly, what could I lose? My curiosity overcame me, and I decided to make one last dive to the rock where I had seen the eel earlier before getting out of the water. Just in case, I followed the ancient Ula's advice, went straight for the middle, and there, at the back of the rock, was a beautiful goatfish. I instinctively let my spear fly and struck it right in the neck. Instantly, the eel struck out from the shadows and latched its jaws onto the fish's head. The battle had begun. I struggled frantically against the eel's powerful tugs, while at the same time trying to make sure the fish didn't slip off my prongs. I've wanted to spear one of these fish for so long, and I wasn't about to let this thief steal it from me. But, in the end, the fish slipped off. No! The thief had won. But wait, what did the prophecy say? Your loss shall be great, but your gain even greater. Wait a minute. What could that mean? Could it mean... Yes, of course. My gain would be greater. I'm gonna get that eel after all. It's got way more meat than that fish. Look out, thief. Tex is on the hunt. I poked around where I thought the slimy snatcher was hiding, and I must have hit it because soon it came sneaking out to find another hiding spot. My GoPro angle got messed up, so it's kind of hard to see. But right here, you'll notice the bulge in the eel's stomach from my goatfish. You better run, you slimy thief. Tex is after you. Look at that face. Guilty, guilty, guilty. I take a shot at it right here with my spear and just missed. It was actually a really sad shot. I should have hit that thing. After this, it went into the coral. You can't see it. Oh, it's so annoying. My camera got messed up. But eventually, I stabbed it right in the head really good and got it in the skull. And now, I just need to pry it out of this coral, which is a lot easier said than done. I pried and pried and pried, and just when I thought I was getting to that point where it was going to come out, boom. The slimy little zombie got away. I went up for a quick breath of air, and by the time I was coming back down, something very strange had happened. Something white was inside of the coral. I tried to get it with my spear. Oh, sorry, Mealy, I didn't mean to hit you there. If you'll notice, Mealy and Wheelie are hanging around this whole time. And look at that, you guys. It's my fish. My goldfish. I got it back. I just can't believe this, you guys. I was blown away. I threw it up on shore and went back down for the eel. I couldn't find it anywhere, and even Mealy and Wheelie here had no idea where the monster had went. I asked this little guy where he went, but all he did was shout curse words at me. Defeated and exhausted, I crawled up on shore with my catch, tried to catch my breath, and decided to eat a power mango. As I ate, I reflected on the riddle of the Ula. Back to the great rock and solve ye this riddle. 
dive not left or right, but straight for the middle. Beware ye the thief with very sharp teeth. Your loss shall be great, your gain even greater. One thief shall escape, yet two more shall come later. So much of the prophecy had already come true. The rock, the middle, the thief with the sharp teeth, the escaped thief. I got my fish bag, but how would my gain be greater? And who were the thieves to come later? You guys, if I didn't see it with my own two eyes, I don't know if I could have believed it. I cannot believe I got that fish back. I'm really bummed that I didn't get that eel, but uh, at least I got my fish. Ha. Axe? Yeah. Oh. You in a cave? Yeah. <laughs> just... Dude, this is a perfect little gaming cave. Is that a Lionel? Yeah. You got a zebra? Dude, I gotta show you something. Come here. You what you caught? You gotta see this. What? You gotta go. Wait, that's the. That is the goatfish that the eel swallowed whole. It had it all the way in its stomach, and I chased it down. I made it throw it up. Really? Yeah. It <laughs> puked it up. <laughs> and then I got it. Look at it, it scaled it. Look, how? You guys, all this, see, the scales are gone. I don't know how it did it, but all how? the scales, I don't know. Except for right here. I don't know. How is it possible? Dude, it was crazy. It's, so, like, it's like the cat with the fish bones. Like there's meat left on the bone, so it's just like. I don't know what that is. I speared the goatfish, and then instantly I see the eel go boom, and grab onto it. And I'm like, shoot, no. And start, I start pulling it back, and I'm fighting the eel, and the eel's just tugging on it. And tugging it's hard? On it. And then I stab... That eel must have been huge. Dude, it was so big. We're so... going to eat a lot tonight. I know, yeah. We have a lot left. <laughs> All right, guys, so we did the catch part. Now we got to do the cook part. Thanks to our eel friend, I don't even have to scale this thing. How in the world did that eel scale almost this entire fish? It just doesn't make any sense. Did it scale it with its teeth or something? It's just wild. It's, it's the fatwood box. All right, folks, that's what we got. So I'm chunking the heads and guts of the fish right here because it makes the eels want to come in. They can slime all the way up through here. So honestly, the most upsetting thing about all this is that I didn't get that eel. I really wanted an eel. Those eels are delicious. And it's just really sad. I, I mortally wounded that eel. It's not going to live. I, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Those eels are like zombies, so maybe, but I, I doubt it. And that's sad that I'm not going to get to eat it and it's going to die out there. I don't know. Maybe the zombie eel will return while we're cooking our food over here and try to go for some of these fish heads. So, we'll see. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, Axe. So, you are on eel duty, okay? I just set up bait stations over here with fish heads all over here. One eel was just right here. It was about a three footer. So I need you to sit here and wait for the eels, okay? But don't scare them off. Let me know when they Are come. Take them home and eat them? Yeah, we're gonna try to eat them, okay? So get the spear ready. Let me know when they come. There's an eel right there. Right there, right there. You see it? There's two, two. Oh, oh but a bigger one? It's taking the fish head up in there. <laughs> Here. Oh my, look at that huge hermit crab. Look at how big oh that is. Oh my gosh, that is so big. That is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. it just took it. It took the whole head. What it was up thing. against the rock. These eels, they're stealing our fish heads. Like, I want that so bad. Got it. Got it. I got it. Get its head, get it, get it, get it. Stab, stab good. Oh, no. oh, 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 there it is, yeah. Stab it right there, man. Just keep it firm, Max. <laughs> keep it firm. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go, there oh, we go. Yeah. That's not getting off. Okay, oh, come on out. Yeah. Woo! This That's a pretty a big deal. deal. Show him the head. Yeah. Yeah. Look at That's... those teeth. Oh! Right. Wait, 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 wow! Oh, get away from my head. Oh, my. It's by ow, it's got the camera. Okay. Alright, alright, let's put this thing out of its misery. Come on. Hold on, let me uh pull it off here. Okay, all right, okay. Alright, it's gonna try to get away. Oh, you got its head. 
Look at that face. That is a primitive monster right there. Look at those needle teeth. Those are like syringes. They'll go right into you. But Axe just noticed something. Wait, wait, wait. There See is if a you can push it down in whole the whole fish head. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we're going to have this eel throw up the fish head. Oh Look my. At that. Gosh. How in the world? <laughs> it ate the manini head. I just it just threw this up. That's insane. Look. How did it swallow that? It's stuck. Oh. <laughs> it swallowed these two right here. The trigger fish head and the manini head. These eels are just incredible creatures. So I just cut this eel's head off, right? You see those teeth. Yeah, once those teeth lock onto something, they just aren't going anywhere, right? But there is more. Down inside of the eel's throat, there are these barbed grippers right here. You see that right there? That is in the eel's throat. Look, look how it's holding onto my finger. Won't let go. Look at that. And there's multiple ones. There's two two of them right here see that so once the eel starts swallowing something it can let go with its jaws and this is still holding on i was b blown away how when i speared that fish and the eel grabbed onto it it just didn't let go and that also tells me maybe this is how it scaled that fish it's just this like process of <laughs> i don't know all right, Agent Tex. Agent Tex the future here to let you know that you are absolutely right. Eels have what is called a pharyngeal jaw. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it totally uses that to latch on to prey after its first set of jaws grabs onto it and pulls it into its throat. Just one by one, those two jaws work in tandem, step by step. And in that process, it is very likely that that is how your fish was scaled. And that is also why I'm gonna give the eels first place award for the most creepy creature ever. Incredible yet bizarre creatures. It's getting dark, y'all, and I didn't bring the light for my camera. <laughs> ah, oh, it's gonna be good. So warm and not cold. Yeah? Yes! So there's two monster eels right over here. All right, so we got bait for the giant eel. This thing is a monster, you guys. It's so big. Oh, there it is. You see it? You see it? Okay, okay, hold on. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? Listen, listen. I'm gonna throw it up here. Got the head, got the head. Got it, trying to get it. Okay, look out, look out. Throw it up here. Get up, look out, look out. Look out. That is a monster right there. Oh my. That thing is a monster. Look yes! at that. That looks, I mean, look, I don't think creatures are evil. This is an incredible creature. But if there's something out of a nightmare, this is it, fella. Oh, oh no. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'll get it, get it, get it. Hold on, hold on. Did I throw it up on land? There you go. It's got oh. home. Get back, get back. Get back, Come on. Come on. Stand. 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 Okay, I got it. I got it this time. Okay. All right, we're gonna try to kill this thing quickly. So this is my dive knife. It's very pointy. It's good for. And it's serrated on one end, so you can cut it. Yeah. So I gotta. I can feel that thing's skull, man. Whew. All right, undo. There's the brain. That's it. See that? It's stuck in the skull. God. No wonder they don't die. You're trying to pull it this out. This skull is so thick. Oh, you can let go now. You can see I've got my knife buried in its skull here. But it's stuck itself now, in the knife. Now, you'll never, 
You'll never guess what it's throwing up there. Dude, you know what that is? That's the other eel's head. Oh my. Dude. God. Oh my. How is it not dead? My knife is literally in its brain. It's swallowing something. Look out. There's That's, something right there. Don't get it your... It just swallowed something. My knife is in its brain. How do you not... How do you kill these things? Look at that. You don't. That's impossible, Here, man. Let's, let's have a bite some... Like, oh, what? Look at those teeth. Woo. Okay, that's what it had in its mouth. The other eel's mouth. And this dude. I don't know what He's to like, do. He's like, I'm bigger. What do we do? We smash his head into the rock. It's breathing. I can't get this knife. It's a down through its mouth, Daddy. I know. I can't. There we go. I'm scared this thing's going to just turn and bite me. It's you. Oh, look at all that meat. It's still moving. It's like, no, nope, you can't kill me even when you cut my head off. I have so much. I'm not a snake. I've got so much respect for these eels, man. These things are incredible creatures. Tell you what. Oh, of course oh. I do that. Look at that. Ow. Ah, I'm just being a fool right now. Who knows what kind of bacteria I just let inside of there. That's a nice cut right there. Or it's a dog bacteria. Ow. Oh, that's deep. All right, there we go. Look at that. Check, check that out, man. Those teeth. Look how gnarly they are. Woo, buddy. Look at that. It's like not even... That's the... Look. How? I, that's not even a my, stomach bag. That's I got my just... hand all the way up. At, look, look at that. My hand is inside of the eel's stomach. That is its stomach. It just, it just goes straight down to its butthole. All right, now for a fun game of can we fit the giant eel in this bag? Yeah, let's see. Hey, look at that! <laughs> and so, as you just saw with your own eyes, the last bits of the riddle have been solved and the prophecy fulfilled. Two thieves did come later, the two eels we caught just now in the tide pools. That gain was most certainly greater than the loss of the first eel, and for that, I'm very grateful. What I'm mostly grateful for though, is to have been able to share this adventure with my amazing son Axe, and also with you all. I even got to have my switch time. Until next time, remember, life's an adventure, and love is a key, and love is a who, and love loves you. We'll see you on the next adventure. Agent X out.